All right, so the first time I did this, my uh, volume was horrible. So we're uh, going to try this again. And I want to talk to you about um, finding pictures on the internet and uh, using pictures that you're allowed to and just how you go about this process. So I guess one of the easiest ways that you can do this is you can actually sign into Flickr. And Flickr is just F-L-I-C-K-R dot com. And we do have a school account if you actually ever want to upload pictures here. It's SP Math. And the password, of course, is I love math. So I'm just going to sign in right now and presto change -o. Um Here we go. So nice stuff here. Now here's where you need to go. You need to go to where it says search. And that's pretty hard in, to figure out. So search. All right. Everybody uploads. We're going to type in a word and we're going to call it, uh, let's not do poverty. Let's do uh, Earth Day. Okay. Now, if you just click search now, here's what the problem is going to be. Okay, we go through here, a beautiful picture of a plant of some kind, but if I click on this picture, it's something very important you're going to see. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Still coming, still coming. Almost there. Here we go. Scooting on down here all the way down, down, down. See where it says all rights reserved right here? You're not allowed to use this picture. Okay, like that's a very important thing that you need to know. You cannot use this picture if it says all rights reserved. Some people just want to keep their pictures to themselves. So when you do your search, if we just click on search, go advanced search, and here's where you need to go. You need to go all the way down to where it says Creative Commons. I'll make it even larger for you so that you can see that. Creative Commons. What you're going to do is search only Creative Commons. Okay. Now we're going to go back up to the top and we're going to type in Earth Day again. And let's see what happens. Let's shrink this so you can actually see what we found. Okay. Now here's what the difference is. Okay, now if I click on, oh, let's print the picture right here. Okay, and we go back down. Remember we went down before, additional information, some rights reserved. So you click on this right here just to make sure you can use it. You can share it and you can also remix it, but this is really important. You have to attribute it, which means you have to tell where you found this information. So let's go about the process of telling people what you need to know. So what is the first thing you need to know? You need to know who took the picture. So you're going to take this little blue link right here and you're going to copy it and you'll paste it into a document or somewhere so that you know what you're doing. I myself, I will post it. Um, I'm just doing a blog post for you guys right now. So I'm going to put it here. So that's who did it and I'll type by Okay, and we should probably actually know what the name of the picture is, and it's Happy Earth Day, everybody. So we will go back into this document, and we will type in Happy Earth Day. Uh, it was Earth Day, everybody, I think it was. Earth Day, everyone. Okay. I don't know why that's bold. I don't want it to be bold. Let's just go with not bold. And it's also underlined, but we'll deal with that at another time. Okay, you also need the link. So up at the top, get the URL. And go in here. Uh -huh. And you're going to go here. Underneath that, you're going to put the URL. Okay, so that you can actually find it. And now we need that picture. So we're going to go to the picture and it says you can use it. So we save it to our desktop or wherever it is that you save things. I'm going to just call it Earth Day. And once again, we go back into here. This is just where I'm housing things, of course. And now I find the picature. Browse. I think I call it Earth Day. So look under E for Earth Day. Go open, go upload, and life should be good. There she be. All right. Control X, move it down to where you want it to be. 
I like to send my pictures, but that's just uh, here. Okay, one other important thing that when you are getting pictures, there are different sizes. Okay, you always want to download either the original size or the large size. Do not download a small size. You need to have a large size because then you're going to shrink it to fit um, into your movie piece itself. So you either get the original, which is obviously massive and too big um, for us to handle. Okay, so we're going to go back stick with the large which is right here and that's the one that you want to save to your hard drive so going over one more time go to Flickr when you search make sure you search for Creative Commons make sure you can actually use the pictures save the person who took it the link and the name of the photograph all of those will need to be in your credits so I hope that you have uh, figured out how to use Flickr I will drop another uh, site called Flickr CC, which actually only searches Creative Commons, but this is just as easy. So I'll drop a few more links in there for you. And by the way, music is also the same thing, and that's tomorrow's post. Enjoy.